the world. Got a, a switch next to it. Oh, it does. <laughs> cool. And away we go. So this home is absolutely gorgeous. Super tall ceilings throughout this home and just the open and airiness, all the windows throughout. I think you guys are really going to like it. And on top of that, it is a brand new floor plan unlike anything else we've seen yet here on the channel. This is your view as soon as you walk through this gorgeous set of front doors and you know the whole walkway up to uh, the home from the driveway. Turning you around, again you've got these kind of modern-esque front doors. These actually have the glazed glass which looks really good and then up above that two huge windows and then they kind of bring that kind of natural wood element that is on the exterior of the home to the interior. So super nice. You got a great big kind of light fixture, chandelier hanging down over the top of your foyer. And then from there, just kind of a huge open concept. We'll stay here on the main level before we kind of work our way up to the second floor. The office in this home is actually in a really cool spot. So we'll get to that in a little bit. But first, you've got this formal dining room right here that sits just off of the foyer itself. You've got a nice window looking out into that cool circular driveway. You've got the wooden blinds right here. And again, I've been loving these because they open up. And this one actually, there's no balances here. So let's see if it, this one right here. So you can clean the windows and everything. So that's pretty handy. Other than that, another nice light fixture. Somewhat matches the one hanging down over the foyer, just like in its style, I guess. Then from there, you just transition into this two-story great room. You've got the tray ceilings up there, another huge light fixture, great big windows looking out onto that all of that outdoor space. That pool, man, that pool is going to be, I'm so tempted. One of these days, I'm just going <laughs> to, I'm going to throw the drone up there and I'm going to run into a cannonball in one of these pools. I can't do it today though, because this is, at least not at this home, this is the, the first one I'm touring for the day. So I don't want to be all soaking wet for the next two, but beautiful fireplace. Got a little stack stone thing happening down here on the bottom. I love this mantle, how it kind of wraps around. And then you've got the tile going all the way up to the ceiling. Nice big gas fireplace right here. And then on either side, this is a fun color, kind of a, a beigey color. We haven't, I don't think we've seen too much of that, but you got a floating cabinet and then a floating shelf up above that. And these are on either side of the fireplace. Pretty nice. And then, I don't know if I really pointed it out when we first came through, but you got like a little catwalk area up on the second floor. And I haven't been anywhere past this little kitchen to the front door as I was walking through. So I'm super excited to get into all this stuff. Really fun light fixtures hanging down over the kitchen island. I like that a lot. You've got the waterfall edge. Is it on both sides or just one side? It is on both sides. And then up underneath on the front of the island, let's see, got some storage. Not soft clothes, but I'm sure that's something that you could upgrade to if you wanted to. And they've kept with that kind of, maybe it's like a cream color, not a beige color. Got the trash can drawer right here. Nice big apron sink looking at that fireplace and then the windows to the left. Next to that is a dishwasher. In 
and just a really nice island. Then on the back side of the kitchen, I always say back side, I know it's not really the back side, but like the main kitchen, uh, you've got tons of cabinets, you've got a great big refrigerator. I like this. We've been seeing a bunch of higher built-in microwaves instead of the ones that are always at your knees, which is, I like that better. And I like the fact that it's higher, but not over the, the range either. So that's cool. Double ovens. All the fixins. Got a couple glass pane cabinets up top here, and then several more over the top uh, of the range itself. Plenty of counter space. Gas range, nice tile backsplash. Really pretty kitchen. Then we'll go ahead and stick to the left-hand side of the kitchen. Now all these doors are shut. So uh, we're gonna play a little guessing game, I guess. All right, so we've got the laundry room. You got washer dryer hookups right here and then kind of like some little folding tables on either side. You got some cabinets up above that. On the far side down here, there's a little outlet, so maybe a spot for a freezer or a refrigerator. One of the stalls to the garage. And this thing's got, I don't want to get locked out. <laughs> There's a lady that works here. She's in the office and that's on the second floor. Oh, this is fun. I don't know how to turn on the light though. Hold on. There we go. You got a little powder room right here in the garage. All you mechanics and automotive fanatics that are always out there working in your cars and stuff. I mean, you don't even have to leave this thing now. <laughs> Come out here and work on your car all day. So that's pretty fun. And then you got another little cutout right here. A little window looking out into the motor court itself. It's always a fun day when we're touring homes. You never know what you're gonna get. I've never seen, that makes me wonder. Uh, you got another coat closet right here, a little storage closet. I've been skimping out on some of the, like a couple of their single stall garages have been turned into offices. Ooh, that's a big pantry. And I wonder if there's been, uh, other toilets or powder rooms within those those garages that's interesting and what is this one so this is the other garage this is the two stall garage and i don't think there's any bathrooms in this one <laughs> All right, then on the opposite side of the kitchen, you've got like the morning room, a little less formal dining space, got more great big windows, kind of looking out into that backyard. It's really nice. They got all the sitting areas out there. We'll go check it out real quick. You've got not only the pool, you got a little pergola over there, a little sitting space here, maybe put a little some sun chairs or something over on that side. And then you've got a whole outdoor eating space over here with the kitchen, uh, like the grill, the prep sink, little fireplace back here. So super nice outdoor space. And then the ceilings too, uh, kind of raised up a little bit. This one actually, this is the second one really that kind of gives off those uh, chalet vibes coming out into uh, the backyard area. So that's pretty cool. And then of course the sliding glass door opens all the way up. So you can really like flow back and forth from outside to the game room area. And then within the game room, they kind of kept the, the wood look with these exposed beams. Nice big space in here. Kind of a nice view back into the kitchen area as well so you're never too far from the action 
Then you've got some nice barn doors that open up. You got a little step up right here, which is cool. And then that comes into this movie theater room. And we've been seeing a lot of these little theater rooms. I actually like this one a lot uh, better than some of the other ones because it's got the step ups just like an actual theater room, you know what I mean? So that's pretty cool. And what do we got over here? So you have more access out into uh, the, onto the back patio. And a storage closet right next to that. So you put all those games, maybe some pool towels, send all the kiddos back through this way. You have a, a full bathroom, got the toilet. Then a walk-in shower. Kind of drops down a little bit. Another big shower head. And that window is actually pretty big too. And then you got a little bench in the back. Now this is connected, but we'll go back out this way so you can kind of see it from the hall. Uh, to almost like a guest room, I guess. You got a huge tray ceiling. And then some nice big windows sitting over on the side of the home. And then into the closet. It's actually bigger than uh, <laughs> I was expecting. So plenty of shelving and some hanging dowels. Then from here, we're gonna go kind of back across the living room and then right next to the stairwell. I believe that is the master suite. And then from there, we'll go work our way up to the top floor. So that's the office. That's kind of a cool little spot for an office. All right, what do we got? So a door, some barn doors. Ooh, this is a really nice, Ooh, the closet. Man, we have been coming through some closets lately. They are so nice. I like the little rock accent up underneath of the vanity with the accent light. That looks cool. I'm gonna hide this closet from y'all. Don't look in the mirror. You got the fun little sinks. Very elegant, you know what I mean? Got the almost champagne glass sconces. I like this kind of vertical glass backsplash too. I think that looks really good. Right next to that is, of course, the single, no, the toilet. And then back behind us, you've got this gigantic, I mean, this thing is absolutely massive in terms of a tub. You've got the shower back behind that, which we're gonna walk through in just a moment. We do have a linen closet over here next to this vanity. Nice big shower head. You got the removable wand shower head, a bench. Again, that stone shower tray that matches up underneath of the vanities. And I'm a fan of this one. I love these sinks. These are fun little sinks. All right, let's get into this thing. Whew. It, uh, what in the world? This does something. I don't know what it does, but it does something. It's got a, a switch next to it. Huh, <laughs> I'm gonna have to go figure that out. But huge closet, all the different shelves and hanging dowels and all different types of things. And that thing, that's gotta do something. Oh, it does, <laughs> cool, and a light. 
Look at all this storage. Or a safe room, maybe? I'm not real sure. This thing's kind of small. I wouldn't want to be on my hands and knees uh, to be in here, but tons of storage. We figured it out. <laughs> oh man, that's awesome. That's two closets in a row with super cool things. Oh man. I was like, what is this light switch for? I was thinking it was gonna like go up or rotate or something like that. How cool is that? Oh man, it's a good day to tour homes, that's for sure. All right, and then all the way at the back, you come into the master suite again. Nice big tree ceiling. Huge windows looking out into the backyard. I like another chandelier that matches the sconces in the bathroom. All right, now from here, I don't think it can get much better than that. We'll go ahead and start working our way upstairs and it just kind of wraps around. But once you get up here to the landing, you do have the little office space right here. And it sits right up at the front of the home. You've got some more big windows right here. Another, this is another double tray ceiling. Had to second guess it for a little bit. But it's cool how it's kind of open up over there towards the windows. And then you have plenty of built-ins and then cabinets, desk, and then back behind us, got a little spot to mount the TV. And I like that the glass right here is glazed over too because that gives it like a little extra privacy. So if you're sitting at the house doing some, some work, you're good to go. And then from here, we'll go ahead and work our way upstairs. Check out this. Yep. It's locked, it must be attic access. But from here, we'll go ahead and walk over the catwalk, your view back down into the foyer. And then on this side, you've got this gorgeous view into the great room, really nice. Then another desk area, a nice little media center for the kids to do all their schoolwork. These shelves are super cool. Oh, we found the chirp. I'd been hearing it, but I wasn't quite sure where it was. Now up here, it looks like you've got three bedrooms. This being the first of the three. Nice big size. This one is sitting up on the front of the home. That's a cool little feature just they're not the big windows that we're so used to seeing you know what I mean just a little little square little port windows almost and then into the closet again I've been loving all of the built-ins no wire racks in any of these partners in building homes uh, they've all been really really nice so into the ensuite got a single vanity plenty of counter space the toilet and then like a low profile shower and tub combo. You're not gonna be getting too covered in bubbles if you're sitting in this tub. Be all flowing out. And then I think right as you walk in, this is the linen closet. Then just next to that room, you come into the second bedroom up here. This one's sitting on the side of the home. And in this closet, it's about the same size as the other closet. Again, with all the built-ins. Then this room actually shares a Jack and Jill with uh, the next room that we're gonna go into. But you've got another single vanity with the vanity lights. I like this kind of wood color right here. Then into its linen closet. Then back behind us, you've got the kind of common space with the toilet, another shower and tub combo with that low profile tub. Then the second vanity and then into its closet. 
Then finally we come to the bedroom. And all these bedrooms, they've been about the same size. I think the one had a little bit different layout, but other than that, pretty sure they're fairly similar. All right, let me know what you think about this home down in the comments. If you want any more information on this model or partners in building, you can find that right there at the top of the description, or you can go over to timothyplivingston.com where you can search not only this floor plan, but all the floor plans across the country. Maybe you're interested in some more partners in building floor plans. You can go check that out, see where they're built. You can get price information, filter them down based off of number of bedrooms, square footage, layout, all different types of stuff. And with that, I hope you enjoyed the tour. I certainly did. This home is spectacular, and we have even more unique homes coming your way. Jen just lined up a bunch up in the Dallas area, so ready to get up there. Those things look like castles, so super excited. Anyway, guys, my name is Timothy. I'll see your beautiful face in the next one.